Welcome. In today's video, I'll go through a few tools which can help you plan, set up and purchase your first miner. I'll leave all the relevant links in the description below. First of all, the most important thing is to check your country frequency band. The majority of miners are currently running at 915 MHz and 868 MHz frequency. The reason that there are different frequency miners is because each country is regulated to use a specific frequency band. To ensure you purchase the correct miner, there are a few websites you can use to help you determine which frequency you require. The first is called whatheliumregion.xyz. It's designed and developed by electronic engineer Ryan Tech. It's a very user-friendly site where you can easily select from a drop-down menu of countries and it will automatically let you know what frequency band to use. Other alternative websites to cross-check your frequency are the Things Network, which lists the countries and frequency in alphabetical order, and LoRa Alliance, who are a key part of the LoRaWAN network. The LoRa antennas is what you'll be using to send out a signal to connect to other miners. Number two, analyze your environment. You can do this with two tools, Google Earth and Helium.Vision. So jumping into Google Earth, I have selected a potential location I can place my hotspots. For this example, this is Lake Arrowhead in California. Currently there are no miners here, so placing one alone would not generate that much HNT. Ideally you want to place five miners which will create four witnesses to each miner. If you are not familiar with what witnesses are, you can watch my $25,000 helium setup video which covers this, located in the top right hand corner. In order to gain a maximum reward scale, the hotspots are ideally to be placed a minimum of 300 meters apart from each other. I will use Google Earth to determine if miners could have a clear line of sight with each other and there is not too much interference from mountains, hills, buildings and so forth. Once I understand that the area suits my setup, I will jump into Helium.Vision to analyse and calculate the placement. Helium.Vision provides you a tool to measure your miner distances. Let's say you have miners A, B, C, D and E. You can select the measure tool from the toolbar, click on the first point of your miner and then select the second point. As you can see, it provides you with a distance in meters of how far apart these miners are. You can also use the placement tool to ensure that there are no other miners within your 300 meter radius. If there are, they would show up on the right hand side. This is not a bad thing, however, if overcrowding does happen, then rewards will be distributed between other miners. However, if you do have a strong signal, you will witness more miners, ending up in a good amount of rewards. Number three, download a crypto wallet, preferably one which can trade HNT. I would personally recommend Binance, Crypto.com or Coinbase. So with Binance and Crypto.com, they allow you to trade HNT. So you can deposit HNT from your Helium wallet into these two apps and then you can exchange them for USD. However, Coinbase will only allow you to purchase a miner using USDC, but it won't allow you to deposit HNT to exchange into USD. The reason being is that Coinbase has not yet listed Helium on its platform. Hopefully this will change in the near future. I hope you found this video useful. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe as I'll be bringing you more informative Helium Miner content every week. Thank you for watching. Peace.